In our lectures on rasterization, we discussed how the Z buffer is constructed and the fact that it can be maintained after rendering to achieve different effects. Note that although ray tracing doesn't use the Z buffer to solve the visibility problem, it can still be generated for post processing. The render, or sequence of frames, will be imported into a post processing application along with a depth or Z pass so the effects can be set up. The most common use of the Z buffer is to create the depth of field effect after a perfectly focused image has been rendered. To accomplish this, the depth information is used to determine the circle of confusion size for each pixel. The farther away a surface point is from the focal plane, the larger its circle of confusion will be when projected onto the camera's image plane. The same is true for surface points closer to the camera than the focal plane. The defocus pixels are blended with their neighboring pixels as circles, corresponding of course to the circle of confusion size. Each circle also has an alpha value assigned to it, which is inversely proportional to its area, which makes sense because as the more defocused a surface point is, the less information it'll contribute to the scene. It's important to note that the blending of these circles only affects pixels farther away from the camera so as to avoid interfering with the sharper appearance of surface points closer to the camera. And this is true of areas farther uh, away from the camera than the focal plane, and of course the scenario is reversed for areas closer to the camera than the focal plane. Another use of the Z buffer post render would be to create the effect of atmospheric fog. A primitive form of fog can be achieved by simply using the Z depth values to alter the color stored for each pixel. The larger the Z value, and farther away from the camera the surface point is, the lighter the pixel color is made. We can sort of see this effect play out on the Z depth image itself if we imagine these spheres to have grayscale diffuse colors, and if they were surrounded in fog in a very brightly lit environment. 